In this video, we'll guide you through your first steps in the 3D Changer Car Configurator. You'll learn how to download and open the software, start a new project, and navigate the menus. You can download 3D Changer from our website, 3dchanger.com. Two options are available. You can either try the free trial with limited features or purchase the full license. Navigate to the download section in the top right corner. Log into your account or create a new one by completing the registration form. Now, click the Download button and select the operating system to start the download. Once the download is finished, move the 3D Changer folder to your documents or program files. Then, extract the files from the zipped folder. You will find the Changer and Engine folders alongside the EXE file. Do not delete these files, as they are important for the app to function. If you want the app on your desktop, create a shortcut. Finally, launch the 3D Changer by double-clicking on the blue icon. When you first launch 3D Changer, a security window may pop up. Click the Allow Access button to proceed. You will then be prompted to log into your account using the same credentials as you use on the website. In this window, you can either begin a new project or open a saved one. Select a project and then click on the Load button. The Help menu will be displayed by default. We suggest reviewing the tips to become familiar with basic commands and shortcuts. You can hide the menu later by selecting the option at the bottom. Now you are in the 3D Changer viewport. You can see the default car and two menus, the top menu for general settings and the bottom menu with configurator features. This tutorial will provide a quick overview of each part with more detailed explanations in the next videos. By default, you can access only a few cars, film brands, and scenes. If you have purchased the full license, you can download all content by clicking on the preview image. Once the download is complete, restart 3D Changer and the content will be available. In Vehicles, you can select Cars and edit Wheels, Windows, Lights, and other car parts. In Wrap Films, you can find many Wrap Film brands and browse the colors. Under Designs, there is the library of design previews from the Rapstock Marketplace. You can also import your designs and artwork and create a new library. The Scenes part gives you a variety of scenes to choose from, including parking lots, alleys, warehouses, a garage, a highway, and more. In the Tools section, you will find advanced features such as adding additional actors to the scene, importing your 3D models of cars, adjusting lighting, applying effects, and using color presets. The camera allows you to capture images of your customized cars and export videos with just a few clicks. Now, let's go through the top menu. If you have multiple cars in the scene, you can easily switch between them. The selected car is marked in a blue line. You can also reset its position, locate it within the scene, and choose to hide or delete it. Under the transform icon, you can modify the car's position rotation or size by adjusting the X, Y, or Z axis values. 
To save your project, click the disk icon. Choose a new project slot and click the Save button. You will see the project appearing on the list. In Settings, you can adjust the graphics quality and resolution. Within the Your Logo section, you are able to customize the corner or loading logo as well as change the license plate on cars. Under Keyboard, there is a list of shortcuts. In Links, you can find an alternative way to download templates or scenes. Lastly, within System Settings, you can log out from your account, locate the save folder for your projects, or hide specific wrap film brands. That's all from this video. If you need more help, don't hesitate to contact our support team. You can find the email address in the description of this video. Thank you.